Hello. So we have just um, analyzed the frequency response of a common emitter amplifier. And now I'm going to see how we can um, tweak the circuit in ways that are going to affect the frequency response and see what effect those changes will have uh, on the location of the low and high cutoff frequencies. We're going to start with uh, the low cutoff frequency. We've calculated it to be um, around 837 hertz. And um, what if, let's say, that was too high for us and we wanted to set it lower than that? Let's imagine we wanted to lower it by a factor of 10 or we wanted a low cutoff frequency of um, 83 hertz instead. So, um, our objective is lower FL by a factor of 10. Meaning we want FL to be approximately equal to 83.7 hertz. And in that case, we will need to look at what is the dominant capacitance, uh, the one that is setting the value of FL at uh, 137 hertz. And if you go back through the analysis, you'll see that it was the bypass capacitor at the emitter. Um, and that's typically the case for a common emitter amplifier. Uh, the, the bypass capacitor is going to uh, be the dominant capacitance, which is going to determine the low cutoff frequency. Um, and so our expression for FL due to CBE, so FL was approximately to that, which was 1 over 2 pi R7 in connected to CBE times CBE. Um, now we don't, uh, you know, if we wanted to increase or decrease, excuse me, FL by a factor of 10, uh, we will have to increase the denominator of this expression by a factor of 10. We can do that by either increasing the resistance or the capacitance. Now, the resistance is going to be something that's going to be more difficult to play with. Um, the reason for that is it's going to, you know, as soon as we start modifying um, R1, R2, it's going to play a role into the DC bias point of our circuit. And so we will typically play with the capacitor values to try to move our cutoff frequencies one way or the other. Um, and so I have, you know, for CBE, um, well, 137 hertz. or FL prime equal to FL divided by 10, increase CVE by a factor of 10. That means CVE is going to be now 10 microfarads. And so I can calculate my FL prime, which will be equal to 1 over 2 pi R7 in 3, uh, and I'm going to call this CBE prime to indicate that that's the capacitance that has changed. Um, our 7 in resistance from our uh, previous calculations was equal to um, 190 ohms, so this will be 1 over 2 pi times 190 times 10 microfarads. And we can see that this, in effect, will give us a cutoff frequency of around 83.7 hertz. And that's it. We have um, decreased our low cutoff frequency by increasing the dominant capacitor by um, a factor of 10. And we can go ahead and enter that result into our circuit, so 10 microfarads. And um, I'll also go ahead and update our FL expression here. Now our FL prime is equal to 83.7 hertz. Thank you.